Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm going to be making this craft kit. It is made by Kaleidoscope and it is called the Pom Pom Animals. So let's get this open and have a bit of a look. So firstly you get some instructions, you get a bunch of different coloured wool, two pom pom makers and some little accessories. So these little pom pom makers you sit them next to each other like that and then you take your wool and I'm going to do the fox first and then you wrap it around holding the two halves together and what that does is it holds all of the wool together but also gives you a space so that you can tie the strand of string around and you can also cut the pom-pom itself. Now you can definitely make pom-poms without using a special kit like this. You just need to make two donut shapes out of some cardboard. You can just use a pizza box or a cereal box or something like that. I used to make these all the time as a kid. And then you just need to make a little small ball of wool that will fit in the center of the donut shape and you wrap it around like this. Wrap it nice and thickly so you get a nice fluffy pom-pom. And as you see here, I'm grabbing some white and I'm going to be wrapping that um, around in the middle just to give him a little bit of a white belly just to look really cute. And the instructions in that just explain to do about a third in orange, then do about a third in white and then do the other third in orange. And then when you tie it all together, it'll become like a little fuzzy white spot in the middle for that. So let's clip that together. And I found if you clip it together, and then you just make sure that you hold the strands as you cut. It seems to turn out pretty good. So I'm just making sure all my little ends are all tucked in so they don't come apart. And it just has enough space to fit the scissors right there so you can trim all the way around. And just make sure to hold on to those little strands. I did find later on that if you put your thumb in the center of this little ring, it does hold them a lot better. So that might be a tip if you've got this kit at home. Just makes it a little bit easier to hold it all together. And I'm just getting a longer strand just to do the tying. So you wrap it around twice and then you tie a double knot and that will hold all of those little pom-pom strands together. And then what you wanna do is you wanna give them a little bit of a haircut. So just hold the strands together and trim it as best you can to get it into a circular shape. It's pretty easy if you just sort of hold it flat between your fingers so you can't cut too much. And you can see that little white spot for his belly right there and just roll it between your hands and that'll make him get all nice and circular. Let's do the little pom-pom for his head. So. First of all, we'll need to do some more orange. So I'm just gonna grab this orange and do a big amount of wrapping around the whole entire section until it's a nice solid orange color. And then what I wanted to do was make his little face white. So I took the other half and I wrapped white around the other half and that will make him half orange and half white so his face is white. It just turns out really cute if you use multiple colours. Now if you get like three or four different kinds of wool and you layer them together and you just wrap all the way around in different colours of wool, you'll end up with like a speckledy kind of pom-pom. So if that's what you're looking for, you want to make like multi-coloured pom-poms, just layer all the colours in your hand at once and then wrap it all the way around and that way you won't get sections, it'll just be all different speckledy colours. And again you wrap your string around slide your thumb out and tie it nice and tight. You might need to get an adult to help you with the tying because it can be a little bit tricky to get that double knot. But once you've got the double knot, you can start giving it a little bit of a haircut, trimming all of the excess off. Just be careful with scissors or ask someone to give you a hand. And then you've got his little head is done. And you can see the little white on the front and they sit together. So I'm gonna get the accessories and we'll start decorating him. It came with glue and these little felt pads that had parts cut out. So I'm just popping out all the pieces. Some of them weren't quite die cut correctly, so I just trimmed them off to make them look nice and neat and popped out his little ears and his feet. And then we get the glue that was included and we're gonna put it all together. So a bit of glue on those little gray dots that go onto the ears, just to hold that together. And then I'm gonna try and glue them together. I found, as you can see in the video, I put just a little bit of dot of glue and tried to hold it together. That didn't really work. But what I found is if you put a larger ring of glue on the larger pom-pom and then sit the little pom-pom in that ring of glue, the little strands kind of stick together and then it will actually stay together. It will take about a day to dry because this is PVA glue, so it's, it is slow drying. 
So once you've created your little guys, added all their little accessories to make them super cute, sit them to the side and let them dry before you play with them, and they'll last a lot longer and they won't fall apart. So here, I'm just gonna add, like I show you a little dot of glue, but I recommend like a larger ring, like about the size of a coin or something like that of glue. And then just trim off any excess bits. I wanted to make his um, belly fur a little bit shorter, just to make it a little bit cuter. But let's make the rabbit. That's the one I was looking forward to when I saw this. I thought it'd be cute for Easter. So making little rabbit pom-poms, how adorable. But if you'd like me to make a video, um, I can probably do it over the weekend because of Easter, I'll have some time off. But I can make a video on how to make pom-poms just using cardboard. And I might actually do that because sometimes you look at these kits and they've got all these weird plastic things, but you can literally just use two pieces of cardboard, thickish cardboard, and make your own. I made them so much when I was a kid. I used to make huge pom-poms. It was really, really fun. So whether you're looking to make pom-poms to like decorate a hat or something like that, or if you just want to make like cute little fluffy keychains, you can make pom-poms as much as you want. And here I'm doing the same technique as before with adding a little bit of white in the middle. Now I found that I ran out of white and I wanted to do the same on the other part of the section. So in the end I ended up just using a bit of brown mixed with the gray just to do his head. And it turned out really adorable because now he's got like little brown eyebrows and I think that's really cute. But here I'm just tying it together to do his body. Yeah, nice double knot and then take off the plastic parts and then we'll give him a haircut. So if you just pinch it between your fingers you can't cut off too much. and. Be def definitely be careful with scissors, I don't want just people cutting themselves. But yeah, I found if you pinched it together and just worked your way around in a circle and then just rounded it out and see where you need to go, and you just roll it like a bowl of dough in your hands and that'll fluff it back up after you've been um, trimming it. So here I'm going to show you that I ran out of the, um, the white and I ran out of grey as well. It didn't seem to have as much like wool in it as it said on the packet, which did make it a little bit difficult, but in the end, I just made it work. And that's what you do in craft. You just make it work with what you've got. But I just thought it was really, really fun. I do love making pom-poms and I think they're super, super cute. So here I'm just putting in a little bit of brown just to make up that spot where I was missing some of the gray and the white. And it turned out pretty adorable. So let's get the rest of that brown all wrapped around and then we're gonna do the trimming and put our little rabbit together. So I found if you, yeah, like if you pop your thumb in like that, first of all, you're less likely to cut yourself because your thumb's protected. And secondly, it helps hold all those little strands together. Now I've got a big adult thumb. I'm sure it'll work better if you had like little kid fingers because um, they'll actually fit properly, but it seemed to work okay. And we'll give it that little bit of a, a haircut just to neaten it up. I think I love doing the little haircut and trying to make it circular. It's pretty fun. He turned out quite cute and fluffy. Let's put him together. So the little one is his head and goes on the top. And let's get all the little pieces of felt and some fluffy pom-poms and some eyes. Now he's gonna need two fluffy pom-poms, one for his nose, little cotton balls, one for his nose and one for his little tail. Now I spent a little bit of time trying to get these ears to sit like they have in um, the picture but I couldn't really get them to sit right so in the end I just trimmed them down and then made them stand up um, because they were a bit too long to stand up by themselves they kept just falling off and here is his little nose and we'll put his little eyes on make sure they're straight and don't worry too much if you've got any excess glue um, it will dry clear so it doesn't really matter I did spend a bit of time trying to get those ears right. It was just a struggle. So in the end, I just ended up trimming them and trying to make it work. Here I'm showing trying to um, hold them down so that they would um, sit properly. I just didn't want to. But put that little tail on and neaten him up. I did try and glue them together. It did not want to sit. So in the end I just trimmed the ears off a little bit and then pop them on straight up and we'll just leave them like that. You do get a good amount of glue, like there's still some glue left in the little tube so I could definitely make more of them. But in the end he turned out real cute. 
now they're all done, the little rabbit and the little fox. I'm just going to show you each of these. And then I've got some photos as well so you can see them all finished. It's looking super, super adorable. Yeah. Just trying to make it so you can see them easier. But I popped them outside and got some shots in the sun so you can see his little brown eyebrows. Looking super adorable. So I hope you guys have a sunshiny day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.